Today, I'm gonna to be going over a review of Sunlight Levels B and C, Intro to World History. I'm gonna be talking about why I chose to do this with my family, why we are on year one and a half of working through this, and just why you may or may not want to choose the level B, C for your own family. So I have not seen any reviews of the condensed level B and C, so I wanted to go through and talk about that and just give you a flip through and kind of show you how it's going for us so far and what we like or don't like about it. So I hope you stick around to see that. Hi friends, welcome back to Common the Chaos Homeschool. My name is Davine and on my channel, I like to talk about how we are doing homeschool for our family, how I teach my four students together, ages nine through 13, so grades three, four, five, and six. And I also like to do curriculum flip throughs and reviews. And currently I'm working on a series called How to Start Homeschooling. And it's specifically for those who are currently in the public school or are just moving out of public school into homeschooling. If you're interested in any of that sort of content, don't forget to like this video and subscribe and click the bell notification. All right, so let's get into what is in Sunlight's Condensed BNC Intro to World History. Okay, so here's the very beginning. So I purchased this in 2020. So just so you know, Sunlight does change their curriculum every so often, but they don't make huge changes. It's usually a book or two. So this should be very similar, or unless it's is years and years later, it should be very similar to what is available right now. So with Sunlight, you get Bible, you get history, and you get read alouds. And then for B and C, you would be buying readers for your children. So there's levels one, two, three, four, and five, depending on the reading level of your children. So today I'm just going to be going over what comes with this if you buy the set, this without the readers. All right, so Bible, we get seeing the word, God our provider CD. All right, so here's the God our provider CD. And what is great about this is all the scripture verses, they have songs for them. And so it's really helpful in helping us memorize the scripture. So that's a really good thing to have. All right, so for the history portion, it comes with a number of items here. So I'm just gonna go through and show you what I still have. I don't have every piece. I kind of pieced this together myself. I only purchased the guide and then I found things used and found that just pieced it together myself. So I'm gonna show you whatever I have here. But the Esborn Book of World History, I have the Esborn Encyclopedia of World History. So I did purchase the Esborn Book of World History, the one that went with this series, but I've been using this one instead and that works okay. The pages don't exactly line up, so I do suggest you finding the same one as the one that they talk about here. So the Esborn Book of World History, just so you know kind of what it looks like inside. Uh, this is uh, the encyclopedia, but it's gonna be very similar. A lot of pictures, little paragraphs. And I would say when we first started, reading a two-page spread was more of a challenge, but at this point we can get through two two-page spreads. So we're, our endurance for learning information is getting a little more as we go along. So that's kind of what that looks like inside this book here. And then we have Window on the World. That's this here. That just goes through all the different countries. It talks about what they know about Jesus and the Bible and kind of their situation there. I do really like the stories. They have stories of children who live in those countries and what life might be like. So that is, it's a nice book to go through with your children and learn about the world and kind of see what it's like for kids in those places. And then we have the audio memory geography song CD. So I have that. So we sing the songs, learn the countries. So that goes with this here. So these songs and this book here. And in here they have basically songs that cover different parts of the world. So South Asia, so you have a song that you sing that. And then your kids have a map. Southeast Asia, the kids have a map. They can locate places on their maps. So we use that a lot. It's a good way to learn the countries of the world. So we use that in conjunction with Window on the World. Then we have the Esborn Time Traveler. This is a really cool book. It covers four time periods, knights and castles, Viking raiders, Rome and the Romans, pharaohs and pyramids. 
And so essentially you're like time traveling. So it takes you back to get to know a family who lived in that time. And then each page kind of talks about a different aspect of their life. And it has a story using that family that you're following. So it's a really neat way to learn about what was happening back in those times and to just see some really beautiful pictures and get an understanding of what life would be like during that time. And then we have the book, George Mueller. We have not read this yet, but I do remember this as a child. I really enjoyed this story. So I'm looking forward to doing that with my kids later on this year. And Gladys Allward, which we have read, and we absolutely loved this story. The Christian Heroes Then and Now. We've read quite a few of these so far, and my kids have always really enjoyed them. So definitely highly recommend this series. So the read aloud that comes with this level, we have Aesop, the Aesop for Children. So we've been reading that. 101 Poems of Whimsy and Wisdom to Delight Children of All Ages. That I actually lent to a friend. We really did enjoy it, but I don't have it to show you because I lent it to a friend. The next one is Red Sails to Capri, and I don't couldn't find that book. That was the first read aloud that I did with my kids, and I have to say it was a really tough one to start out with. My kids had just come back from the public school, and reading aloud and listening to stories was not something that they were super used to. So it was a little challenging to get into, but we did really enjoy it by the end. So if that's your first book, just be warned that it was a bit difficult to get into, but we did really enjoy it by the end. Then there's the school story. Some of these I actually did as audiobooks. So I actually did that one as an audiobook in the car. We got it from the library. Homer Price, I had that book. I do not know where it is. Charlotte's Web, we had actually read that one recently. So we did that in the car as an audiobook. Little Pear, super short little book about a boy in China. We enjoyed that one. Detectives in Togas, I had someone on YouTube read that aloud to my children. So we found a teacher who was reading that aloud to her students. So we we just listened along with that one. Sticks Across the Chimney, we just finished that one and somehow I have no idea where it is, but we really enjoyed it. Tales of Robin Hood, yeah, I'm not sure where my books are right now. The Door in the Wall, so we just finished that one. As you can see, I still have all the sticky, sticky notes in there so I know how far to read. So we just finished The Door in the Wall. Henry Huggins is another one that we have already heard before or read before, so I just did it as an audiobook. The Year of Miss Agnes, we actually finished this, we did this as a nighttime read aloud, and I really did enjoy this story. It's about a teacher who goes and works with children in Alaska in a one-room schoolhouse type thing. So that was the last one we finished. So Cricket in Times Square, coming up. We haven't read that one yet. The 21 Balloons. We have Captain Nobody, Owls in the Family, and then Goonie Bur Bird Green, is another one that we have already listened to the audiobook of, so we're not going to do that one again. So those are the books that come with this level. Let me just show you what a day looks like. I'm sorry I've written all over it, but this is how I keep track of where we are. So every day you have a reading of scripture. So it tells you what to read in the scripture. So we just read the Bible and then there's a poem to memorize. And like I said, this CD here always corresponds with the poem and it's always is usually the same version. So the words are pretty much the same. So we're memorizing this verse and we're using the song to help us remember. So that's sing the word and it tells you where to find it there. And then we would be reading from the Usborne Book of World History, so it tells you what pages to read there. Then Window on the World, what pages to read there. The Geography Songs, so which of the Geography Songs to be listening to, and you do that for about a week. And then it tells you what books to, what you're reading as your read aloud. So chapter one of Red Sails to Capri, and then what page to read in the Aesop for Children, and then what to read in the 101 Poems of Whimsy and Wonder. So this book here, this read aloud, is the one that will change throughout the year. So you're reading different novels. This one, the Aesop's for Children, that lasts the whole year. And then the poems for Whimsy and Wonder also last the whole year. And so they have all these guides, day-to-day -day guides on what you should be aware of, discussion questions for after you read. Also comes with this map. Let's see. Scooch this over. So you got maps you can write on the map and locate different things. We don't generally use this map 
We do use our world map that we have up on the wall. And then this would be week two. So I said I was gonna talk a little bit about why I chose B and C and kind of how we do it and why are we still working on this a year and a half later. I chose B and C because my children are now, they started out, they were eight to 12 and now they're nine to 13. And I wanted to cover world history, but I didn't wanna to spend too much time on it. And I figured that this would be a good level for, for my youngest kids to understand and my oldest kids could still enjoy it. So that's why I chose this BC condensed. I had no idea when I started that it was gonna take me, basically it's taken me two years to go through it. I'm planning on finishing it by the end of this year, but it is taking me two years. Now, the reason why it's taking me two years to go through this is I supplement a lot and I have a very hard time sticking with one curriculum. So I do really enjoy this, but my friend lent me her, my father's world countries and cultures. So I've added that in. I'm doing that over two years as well. So we're combining what we're learning in sunlight's geography with I'm smushing it together with um, the My Father's World Countries and Cultures. So we're doing a lot of geography this year as well. And then I also picked up for when we get to the early explorers, I also picked up Beautiful Feet and their primary, the early American history. So we're also, whenever we hit that part, part in here, we're stopping and we're doing the Beautiful Feet. So a lot of supplementation. So that is why it's taking us this long. And so I will be doing the next level I'll be doing is going to be D and E combined because I'm afraid that I'm going to be taking two years to do that as well. So I'm not doing it one year. So that might be a reason why you might want to get the B and C condensed if you're going to supplement a lot and you know it's going to take you probably longer than it should to get through and your kids are on the older side, then you might want to get the B and C condensed. All right, so what I did not go through here is the readers that my children were doing during this time. Last year, I got for my, they were last year in fourth and fifth grade, my fourth and fifth grade girls. They were doing the level four readers along with this. And then my boys were doing kind of a mishmash of whatever I could find of more of the level two. So my, they were the second, second and third graders at the time. So they were doing the level two readers and I just picked up whatever I could find at the library for them to read out loud. And then the girls, I actually did buy the readers and the guide and the comprehension questions. So that's what we did last year. So this year we're still working on this. And so what I'm doing for my girls this year is I picked up as many of the level five readers as I could get the sunlights recommended readers for level five. So I've found a bunch of those at the library and we're not doing the reading comprehensions. They're just reading the books and narrating to me. So they're doing that. And then my boys, I've just kind of also looked at the level three readers. And I also found books that go along with history that are at their reading level. So when we're doing Vikings, we did like Viking Adventure by Clyde Bula, things like that. So that's what we've been doing for our reading. Thanks for joining me today. I hope that was helpful. If you want to see more future content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever a video goes up. Don't forget to join the Facebook group. I'll link it below. We have a Facebook group that is a group that I am hoping will be a great place for you to ask questions and get answers from more people than just myself. So come and join us there and I hope to see you again in the next video. Thanks for coming today. Goodbye. Yeah,